What's up, Blazioneers and Blazionettes? So I'm gonna be reacting to the second official trailer to Alpha. Now, the reason why I didn't react to the first trailer was because I didn't know this movie was coming out. I mean, they, I didn't see this trailer until when I was at the movies. And that's when I saw that very first trailer for the first time. So, yeah, I mean, like, and um, I forgot what movie I went to go see when I saw this trailer, this first trailer, but, um, yeah, when I saw it, you know, it's like, oh, okay, you know, it looks pretty good, and, um, and I'm really concerned for, you know, like, for the wolf in this movie. I mean, I have a feeling something bad's gonna happen to that wolf by the end of this movie, but, I don't know, I think I'm going for punishment by reacting to this trailer because I'm a real animal lover, and so with that being said, I don't know, I'm just gonna take a chance and, you know, get right to the second trailer, so here we go. Reaction starts. Right now. Up seat. At the end of the last ice age, when our world was a harsh and unforgiving place, a boy who was separated from his family. made me cry because of, you know, the fact that I'm an animal lover. And this is a, man, this is a much more lighthearted trailer. I mean, that first trailer was, like, really dark, and it, and it felt more, I think it felt more grounded into, I don't know, it felt like, it felt like I was watching the trailer for a totally different movie, even though, you know, it's clearly from that, you know, it's the same movie for that first trailer, but it felt like it was a much it felt like it, it was taken much more seriously in that first trailer, but here it's like more like kid friendly. You know what I mean with the narrate the narrator and everything. It felt okay. I mean, it, that felt a little off. You know, like with that choice of tone, choice of tone for this this trailer. But I have to say that first trailer was probably my favorite one out of these two. I mean, I'm not saying this one was bad, but I feel like it felt more. You know, it, it helped you. Prepare. It, it just held. It, it helped prepping you into, like what, you know, like what you know, like what kind of movie you're probably gonna end up seeing. You know, like where it's gonna be an emo emotional. It's gonna be a drama, and it's gonna be an adventure, and it's gonna be some lighthearted moments, and it's probably gonna make you cry by the end of the movie, because I have a feeling something bad is gonna happen to that wolf, and I don't even know if I can really bear the thought of that. I don't even know if I'm gonna see this. I mean, because, I don't know, I mean, I'm already attached to that wolf, and it makes me want to go hug my dog, I mean, I get, yeah. man, because sometimes these type of movies are really hard to watch, especially when something, you know, bad happens to the animal, you know, but at the same time, I, I do want to see this movie, so I'm like having conflicts here. Oh man, but um, yeah. I mean, are you guys gonna check this out? Or are you are you gonna avoid it? You know, I forgot same reason that I just pointed out. But um, 
yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, make sure you thumb up the video and click subscribe. If you're new to the channel, click the bell icon so you can get notified when I upload a new video. And thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>